Hello, 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 collective. This is your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Wife Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka I am the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun whom doesn't live in a coven or covenant, okay? Tonight's messages um, is going to be for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. These messages can apply to your past, your present, or your future. This reading is going to be a whatever pops out reading. So we can just see what's going on with each of you. Okay, we're going to pull clarifiers as we go along. And if I need to get any further information for you all, then I will do so. Remember, not every message is going to apply to you all. Okay, there are billions of people in the world okay so accept the messages that apply leave the ones that do not okay and without any further ado we are going to get into today's messages i do thank you all um for listening and watching like i said i hope everyone is doing well and feeling well on today so let's just get it guys and see what it do um the energy is kind of all over the place, honey. You know, some people, some people doing okay. Some people not doing so good. Some people, they could be better, but they okay, you know. And so, we just gonna see. We gonna see what it do. For each and every one of you, I'm gonna call upon my spirit guys at this time to cleanse and clear any evil demonic negative energy in my presence and my surroundings at my workplace. Um, I call upon my spirit guys to give me clear and accurate messages for the overall collective. Archangels, guardian angels, divine spirit universe, please block any evil eye curses or spells that have been sent to me. Reverse those and send it back to its sender tenfold most high please block bind and rebuke all forms of sorcery black magic voodoo hoodoo hexes curses evil spells that has been cast against me or my channel reverse it and send it back to the its senders 100 fold so might it be okay guys So let's get into these messages and see what's going on with each of you. Okay. Let's see what comes out. messages here so let's see what's going on guys hold on just a minute you all had um one of the dice spell hold on okay guys so let's get into these messages here okay well it looks like we have we have two orange messages here which are numbers i see the number 32 and the number 15 these numbers can be significant to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I also see number 36, and I see number 18 as well, okay? Um, you may want to um, pick these numbers. Um, if you um, plan on playing the lotto, um, these may be lucky numbers for you. If you go and get scratch-offs, and these, you know, your scratch-offs is um, in the little cubby hole things with these numbers on there, Um these could be particular days um, that is going to be meaningful for you. Um, this could be your age, okay? These numbers can be of importance to, importance to you in many different ways, okay? So we have a red message here that says spirit. So something with somebody's spirit or the spirits could be important to you all. Okay? The next red message we have here looks like um, 
research okay so somebody could be researching something we have the green message here of wealth somebody could be coming into wealth the next green message here we have riches oh my yeah that's the riches so we have wealth we have riches i could be speaking to someone who is already wealthy or rich or somebody could be coming into um riches we have wills here okay wealth riches and wills okay so this wealth these riches could be pertaining to some type of will um or inheritance of some kind okay i do have two black dice here which lets me know that somebody is in some very negative evil wicked demonic energy here we're gonna set those aside we have two brown messages here okay <laughs> The first one says Illuminati. The second one says sad. Okay, so somebody could be in the Illuminati, working for the Illuminati, a representation of the Illuminati. Somebody is feeling sad. Maybe because of this, maybe because of another reason, okay? I On the pink dice, I see true love here. I see soulmate here. Okay, I see date night. Okay, I see single father. Okay, and I see friend with benefits. Okay, somebody could be coming in because of contact with your 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 soulmate that's going to turn it into um, you're going to find out is your true love. Okay, y'all could this person could be a single father. Um, you all could plan a date night with one another. Okay. Um, it, maybe in the beginning, it's going to be like a friends with benefits situation and y'all going to realize that y'all are soulmates and y'all are true loves. Okay. So on the white dice here, we have man. I have the letter J. Okay. The letter X. Okay. On the purple dice. We have the message of a st of staged event. There could be a major staged event that is about to take place. Okay. We have BS on another purple dice. Okay. So something in somebody's life or something that's going on or the staged event could be complete and utter bullshit. Okay. We have the message here of coffee. Somebody could like to drink coffee. Okay, another purple dice message here. We have divine, we have divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, so it could be either or or both of those people. Maybe they are coming together. Okay, we have the message of the art here on the purple dice as well. Okay. On the yellow dice, we have um, father, okay? Somebody's father is of uh, very uh, of significance or somebody that you're dealing with that is a father that has kids is of sig uh, significance here. On the other yellow dice here, we have fall. I also see spring. So spring and fall could be of significance pertaining to someone. On the blue dice, I see op. Someone that you are dealing with or either yourself is an op or operative. Okay. And the other blue dice here, we have food here. So something pertaining to food. There could be some major operation that's going down pertaining to food. Okay. Maybe contamination of food in, in, in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. Okay, guys. So we're going to get some clarifying messages to see what the heck is going on, honey. To get um, more um, of an in-depth viewpoint of what's happening. Okay. Okay, guys. 
So I'm just positioning these because I'm going to pull clarifiers that we're going to which we're going to um, put under them. Somebody's coming into a lot of money though. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's going on, guys. Spirit, please give me clear and accurate messages for this random pop out reading for the overall collective. Please clarify the first dice of op or operative operation. What else do we need to know pertaining to this op or this operation that is going on? Okay. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune here that came out on Op, okay? So instead of this being a specific person, like I thought, um, this, could, this is a major operation that is going down, okay? This, uh, let me see the agent, uh, okay. Um, yeah this will is ever turning just like the world just like any cycle which goes within a circular motion you know where there is a beginning there is always an end okay um but this will is turning okay so there's some type of major operation that is going to go down um that is that is i feel like that is being set up to 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 bring in more money for those of them in power i feel like okay this operation could have something to do with food please clarify yeah 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 that we have the two of swords that literally just popped out i wasn't even like really shuffling we have the two of swords that popped out with food there was a decision that was made i feel like there's going to be some food um tainted or contaminated in some type of way this is going to be a major operation that goes down it's going to bring in hellified money for these powers that be okay there's a major operation y'all be very careful with the that you are buying okay um some things that you think you are buying is is not what it is okay or if it is it has been contaminated it has been infected in some type of way it's going to get people sick but this is a major operation that has been set up from higher up okay the contamination of food okay this was the the, the, the two of swords often it talks about a decision but it also it often speaks um, to the wrong decision being made okay pertaining to something okay and this operation is going down in order for this will to turn in the favors of the the powers that be so that that made that they decided to to make this decision to like this food was contaminated on purpose to cause people to get ill to cause people to get sick okay yeah spirit give me a clear message to clarify father okay this could be a father with kids here I also see kids okay father okay we have the knight of coins here okay so I feel like this could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo individual who is a father, okay? He's either, he's either getting ready to have a kid, 
okay or, or or this person is coming into somebody's life and he he has a kid um i feel like the nights can be anywhere from 18 to maybe 30 okay so he's a little younger okay but this person like i said he i because i see father father was the 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 message on the dice that flipped upwards okay but i also see kids on the side okay there's something pertaining to this knight of coins that has to do with them being a father and having kids this could be his first kid that um that you know his his significant other is getting ready to have or this this knight of coins could be coming into the coming into somebody else's life okay and they're a single father they're coming you know we did get single father down here but it may be a whole nother message clarifier that we get okay um if i get another earth sign that comes out on this single father down here on the pink dice then um then we could be talking about the same person okay also this could be somebody's father that is watching uh that is watching and listening to me right now this could be pertaining to your father your father might be this uh this earth sign capricorn towards or virgo individual okay i feel like there's something that could be going on spirit why is this fall here why is fall here what, what is happening in the fall yeah yeah we have the nine of cups here uh-uh we have hold on just a minute guys oh. we have the nine of cups here okay the nine of cups talks about hopes wishes and dreams coming true this younger uh, earth sign here capricorn towards or virgo has a new baby that is coming that's going to be born either in the fall or the spring okay fall was the 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 message that came that popped out upright on the on the dice so more than likely this baby is going to be born in the spring i mean excuse me in the fall okay but it, it this seems like it's probably this 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 knight of coins first child um but even if it isn't this person this is their hope wish or dream come true they're very happy and excited about this child okay so possibly him and his his um his baby mom is still together or something like that but somebody is about to bring you know new life is coming into the world okay on this black dice here we have the five of swords okay there's a lot of conflict dealing with something or someone okay somebody somebody is in, in a lot of negative energy here okay for this black dice to come out there's a um the five of swords talks about uh fighting fussing cussings arguments and disagreements battling competition with one another and different things like that um very hateful spiteful evil type of energy i am feeling with this five of swords here but there's some type of conflict that is happening that is going on because of this yeah to clarify the other black dice we have here we got the ten of wands this conflict is because somebody has a lot of burdens on them okay they got a lot of responsibilities a lot of things on their back a lot of things that they're dealing with and they're in these constant arguments and fights and disagreements with someone okay yeah yeah and we got the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck so this person whoever is dealing with this combative con these conflicts dealing with this, this 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 burdensome problem that's in your life um with all this responsibility that you have this person is in mental conflict they can't sleep they can't eat they're being haunted they're being taunted um they're very stressed out they have high anxiety even spirit clarify the letter x somebody's first or last name could begin with x please clarify the letter x okay we have the hierophant here okay so somebody either with the first or last name that either begins or ends with letter x <laughs> 
this person is a hierophant okay so this could be this could literally be a a, a preacher a minister an evangelist a teacher a counselor um <clears throat> someone in power or authority of some kind okay somebody that guides and teaches others or or um oversees other people okay so there could be something very significant with this person who has the letter name x okay um and this, person, this person could be a motivational speaker okay this person could be a spiritualist a life coach um there's something very significant going on with this person okay Okay, we have the page of swords that flipped over for this letter J. Somebody with the first or last name that begins with J. Okay, we have the page of swords. The page of swords is very, very childish energy. Uh, <clears throat> ooh, ooh, ooh. There could be some type of allegations that's coming out against this higher fence about this page of swords. This page of swords is a little boy, is a young boy. There's a minister, a pastor, uh, evangelist, a deacon or something that molested this boy, touched this boy. Okay, because the next dice we have here that on the upright, it says man. This hierophant would be a man, but on the side of this dice, if you can see the side of it, it says boy. Okay? This page of swords is a boy. Either either this page of swords is the is the son of this hierophant and he has been doing he has been abusing him in some type of way. Or this is say somebody within his church or his ministry or something like that. Yeah, we got the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck, which talks about endurance. There is something that has been going on, okay? Um, the page of wands also carried the energy of gossip. Um, so, you know, um, ridicule, judgment, hearing things through the grapevine, backbiting, backstabbing type of energy. This, if this information may get leaked out in some type of way that this minister of some kind, this pastor of some type, uh, some kind touch this boy whether this is his child or somebody else's child spirit clarify man please give me clear and accurate messages to clarify man yeah this person is a king of wands this, this, this hierophant he's this man here okay because all these messages came out on the same dice. So this all these messages go together here, okay? Um, this man is a, a fire sign. He's a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo individual, okay? And he has done something to this page of swords. And there's, there's, there's either gossip about it or it's going to be gossip about it. It's going to come out what this, what this king of wands did to this page of swords, okay? Yeah, he's going to try to pay, he's going to try to pay this little boy off or the family off and he's going to go into hermit mode, he's going to retreat, he's going to run away, he's going to hide, okay, because of this relationship he had with this young boy, he's going to try to pay him off, yeah, yeah, okay, spirit, please give me clear and accurate information for staged event, what is this staged event that's going to take place? What is this staged event? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let me move these down, guys. Okay, so I can get have some more room. Okay. Um. To clarify this staged event.
We have the Five of Wands here. Okay? The Five of Wands talks about uh, competition. Okay? People competing with one another for something or over something. Um, hating on one another. Disagreeing with the, one another, conflicting, battling with one another, okay? This competition here, this, this, this stage event, there could be individuals of important, there could be some type of f fight, um, this 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 could be some celebrity beef even something something is going to occur um, but it's going to be a whole staged event like it literally was set up to look how it looked to clarify BS bullshit here we have the ten of swords okay so something is going to be done to cause complete and utter like complete um, and ultimate betrayal in the situation because of these people competing with one another. I feel like this could be celebrity beef of some kind. Okay? Because they're competing with one another. Either for a certain position, title, or role. For advancement or achievement or recognition in some type of way. These people are competing with one another. Okay? Okay? Trying to, trying to outdo one another and somebody's going to do something that calls um that there's going to be like an ultimate betrayal okay but it's a setup it's staged it's a staged event okay because the ten of swords came out even though this is ultimate betrayal against this person spirit is saying that it's it's bullshit spirit clarify coffee We have strength here that came out. Uh, there could be a Leo that really enjoys coffee. That really likes coffee. Something could go on pertaining to uh, coffee. That that in, individuals is going to need be need to be strong about okay okay or you you could be this person could be a a Leo that likes to drink coffee um, or any type of caffeine type of drinks this person somebody is in taking a lot of caffeine. making them very strong having a lot of strength there's something that somebody something some somebody's putting in their coffee that is making them ridiculously strong okay like look at this figure here i'm not sure how you take steroids somebody's putting something in their coffee some type of substance some type of something and it makes them really strong or really buff and big or or something this is weird ah is this a boxer or a fighter is this a ufc fighter or a boxer because i I'm, I'm looking all of these messages are purple so they all intertwine and connect together I see this competition here and this ultimate betrayal somebody within this situation drinks coffee but they put something in their coffee that, that, that makes them stronger that gives them a lot of strength in some type of way which gives them some type of advantage people may not know this okay but whomever these people are that's in competition with one another and this ultimate betrayal, okay, because somebody is going to be betrayed really, really, really badly. Like the Ten of Swords talking about somebody having Ten Swords in their back. But there's something pertaining to coffee here.
somebody's taking some type of supplement or it could be a drug even that they're putting in their coffee that's giving them some type of disadvantage you know some type of advantage over someone else okay so let me see what was this Okay. We have the Seven of Cups that came out on Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. There could be something that's going on with the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine um, in some type of relationship them coming together in some type of way there's a lot of this could also speak to this competition here okay the seven of cups talks about one having several different options um to choose from and things like that there could be a big blowout or a big blow up with the divine masculine divine feminine over some type of competition there's going to be some type of betrayal here about this this could be a fight, a disagreement, an argument. Somebody could end up seriously hurt or even killed over this because something somebody is taking is it, causing them to be really strong. I feel like it's a drug. It's a drug that they're putting in their drink. Okay. Yeah, we have the arts here. These are artists. These are artists. That's the reason why the, the stage event came out because like this is going to be publicized. This is going to be publicized. Whatever goes down with them. Yeah. There's a divine masculine, a divine feminine that's in a relationship together. Both of them have a lot of different options. A lot of different people after them or one or the other do. Okay. Because there's a lot of competition around. Somebody's going to end up being betrayed and, and going to be very hurt in a situation. Okay? Hold on just a minute, guys. We got, um, we had a message that fell. Okay, so we had the, the Page of Cups. Somebody is pregnant. With, 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 somebody is pregnant with someone's baby. Somebody, uh, wow. Somebody is pregnant. There's an artist that's pregnant. And it, 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 because they got so many different options and different things, that this baby may not be the child of the person that they're with. Okay? Or either the, 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 the female that is pregnant, her, the male that she's with, has a lot of different options and is cheating okay but there's a lot of competition within this relationship okay I feel like they're both craving for attention what's going on with them is, is a complete publicity stunt but something major is going to go down somebody is going to be set up and betrayed in this situation it's being stabbed in their back Yeah. Somebody's somebody's on drugs in this situation as well, too. I hope it's not the person that's pregnant. There's a lot of competition with them, okay? Between the both of them. It's almost like they're competing with each other for attention that they get from other people. Both of them have several different options to choose from what they want to do who they want to be with what they want to... them being together is a whole arranged situation anyway somebody's in mental conflicts about this
there's a female that's with an artist who is pregnant their relationship is set up and the male in the relationship is literally being set up to be sacrificed that's where this ultimate betrayal is coming in at somebody's going to be sacrificed in this relationship they're literally being used to 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 harvest their energy it's a whole publicity stunt it's a whole staged event but somebody's going to be ultimately betrayed somebody is going to lose their life pertaining to the situation spirit please clarify number 32 okay We have the, uh -uh. what is this? We have the four of coins here. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody could be 32 years old. Okay. And this could be of significance to you um, or somebody that is your life you could be kind of just barely surviving okay because the, the 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 four of coins talks about stability and finances um it can also talk about property and protection you having balance or needing balance okay um it can speak to um order and foundations as well okay i, I, I kind of feel like that there's a 32 year old you you just really like you may be struggling with finances right now you're trying to stay as stable and secure as possible yeah and it could be because you could have a teenager that's 15 years old Who has gotten in trouble with the law or something we have the eight of swords that came out with number 15 somebody 15 years old is going to be arrested is going to get locked up okay they could have a parent that is 32 who is having to to scrape for money to try to bail this this teenager out or help this teenager in some type of way But somebody is just like barely holding it together like they only you're only in the four coins energy you know which is not very much uh you know it's a it's really a lack of income but you feeling stuck and restrained and 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 confined within a situation here yeah you're feeling stuck within this situation, okay? And like I said, there there's somebody who's a... You may be 32 years old or either 36. And there's a 15-year-old that is of, of, of significance to you in some type of way that, um, that you feel you... Mm, you feel stuck in a situation with like you're struggling this could just be you stuck feeling stuck and struggling trying your best to take care of you and your child or something just barely making ends meet okay spirit please give me clear and accurate messages for true love clear messages pertaining to true love okay we have the lovers here. We have the lovers here on true love, okay? So I definitely feel like whoever this true love, somebody is with their true love now, but somebody somebody else, their, your true love is getting ready to come into your life, okay? 
And when this happened, you you all are going to be like soulmates. Spirit, clarify soulmates, please. Clarify soulmates. Yeah. Uh-oh, guys, we had a message that failed. It was the four of wands, though, okay? Y'all, this is going to lead to marriage. So, like I said, you are either with your, tr uh, your true love right now, and y'all are in a relationship, or this person is getting ready to come into your life, okay? And this person is going to be your, like, the, the literally the love of your life. This is your, your one and only true love, okay? Because um, y'all are going to find out that y'all are soulmates, okay? And this is going to lead to marriage here with the four of wands. You all are going to get being, you all are going to get married and you're going to have a family together. Very beautiful. Spirit clarify um date night. I see date night and sex, okay? So y'all could go out on a date and, you know, end up having, you know, some good hot passionate steamy sex, honey. When y'all do get on that level, okay? I'm not necessarily saying that that's going to happen, like, right away. Uh, yeah, this person, this person is going to be very defensive over you or about you. I really don't feel like a, in a, in a possessive way, I really, I just, I feel a lot of passion here. This person is going to be very dis. <laughs> defensive about you protecting of you especially after you put it on the money after y'all have sex baby it's a wrap this person is not gonna want you to have nobody i want you to be with nobody else they gonna make you feel like you know you the ain't all be all honey you don't need nobody else whatever you need they can fulfill your ever desire honey so you clarify the single father Spirit, uh -uh. Spirit, clarify the single father, please. This may be a water sign. Yeah. We have the two of cups that came out on a uh, with the single father. So y'all are definitely going to have a partnership, going to have this relationship together. I feel like y'all are both going to be very smitten with one another. Like, y'all are going to be, like, in love for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like child you just barely see this kind of love on tv you understand but like yeah this is your true love this is your soulmate okay y'all are gonna go from like date night to like the love of your life okay um this is who you're gonna have a partnership with a relationship with spirit who is this single father this person is a this this person may be a water sign capricorn taurus or virgo or excuse me oh my god that's an earth sign this person could be a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio yeah we have to clarify friends with benefits here we have the eight of wands okay somebody is going to be sending you some type of messages fast communication honey messages news information communication child they want to see you they want to get to know you honey they want to talk to you and everything okay and you're going to be receiving messages from this person um if you don't know this person yet you know that's how it's going to start off okay they're expressing how they like you they're attracted to you they want to get to know you better and different things like that okay but this is like really a beautiful situation the reason why i said it i see a lot of ones here so it could be a fire sign such as Aries or leo or it could be a water sign because i did see a lot of water uh, that was trying to flip over as well okay so to clarify i gotta move this over guys let's put those up there to create more room so to clarify wealth guys we have the nine of coins here okay so of course with the nine of coins honey this talks about financial stability and security okay um it talks about abundance um having the, the 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 stability that you need the financial stability that you need okay um this is very close to the ten of coins which talks about um which, which 
which which talks about um, large lump sums of money okay so I do feel like this this nine of coins so this wealth this may come from work that you do this may come from some type of work that you do or something okay to clarify riches here, we have the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, individual coming into some type of riches. Um, could be from the work that you do. Okay, but we also have wills here that we need to clarify. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands here. So the Ace of Wands uh, clarifies wills. This talks about growth, movement forward. Okay, so this is fast paced like... There could have been, somebody could have passed away and left you in their will. Somebody could have passed away and left you in their will. And um, you're getting some type of inheritance of some kind. Because of this. Okay, but I also feel like you're going to come into wealth and riches from uh, a certain type of work that you do as well. Spirit, clarify spirit. Clarify spirit. What is this energy here of spirit? What kind of spirit is this spirit? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, okay, which talks about... Um, um, cutting to the truth of the matter it can speak to victory and success triumphs um, it can also talk about truth and clarity as well guys okay so I feel like I feel like someone who is very in tune with the, the most high, with the divine, you are one within self. You communicate with your spirit guides, your ancestors. These spirits are, are giving you truth and clarity, okay? This may be the work that somebody do. They're giving you messages, okay? Spirit, clarify uh, research here. Hold on just a minute. Okay, guys. So to clarify research here, we have the Ace of Coins. So I feel like someone's uh, spirit guides could be contacting them, sending them information, sending them um, some type of messages of truth and clarity that they want to them to relate, uh, relay, excuse me, in some type of way. Um, to clarify research, we have the Ace of Coins, okay? So maybe this truth, this clarity is pertaining to um, money or resources of some kind. Okay? Somebody's spirit, guys, is telling you to research and look into something that has something to do with financial stability, security, finances, money, resources, um... I almost I feel the energy of the reading I did last night um, about the stock market and things like that. Y'all have to go and see that that reading if you did not watch it. Spirit, please clarify Illuminati. Um. We got the King of Cups that flipped over on Illuminati. Uh, there, I guess there's could be somebody who is either uh, uh, a sellout to the Illuminati or working for the Illuminati or because a lot of people make references to people being in the Illuminati. You can be a representation of the Illuminati, but first of all, get one thing understood. Everybody who is actually in the Illuminati are very wealthy elite individuals in power who are in the shadows okay so you may throw up their signs and their symbolisms and you sold out to this which means you are a representation of but for you to actually be in there like you know no okay um but there is somebody 
who is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio individual that is a part of the Illuminati in the Illuminati in some type of way or representation of the Illuminati, okay? To clarify, sad, we have the world here, okay? Something has gone full circle um, and it's coming to an end. Something has gone full circle and it's coming to an end. And, and I feel like this is crazy. Um, this, this, this could be speaking in aspect to the world in which we live in. Okay. There is something because of the Illuminati, because the elites powers that be, um, is, is bringing something to an end here in this world, um, for their, for, you know, to usher in their new world order you know their one world B system okay yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of things that's that's taking place uh, 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 for money, for greed, really. Okay, um, an effort for for people in power, high up in power, to 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 get away with the the complete and utter destruction of of planet Earth and the world and the destruction of humanity. There's some major events that are, are to take place and that y'all need to understand that when we talk about the end of the world, planet Earth is not going anywhere, okay? But everything on planet Earth, okay, can can be destroyed, can be eliminated, can be wiped the hell out, okay? You have seen it happen time and time again at the beginning of every um, new beginning, okay? There's something catastrophic that happens that wipe everything and everybody out. How do you think that dinosaurs went extinct just in the nick of time for you to be living here on this earth, okay? Um, there's major events that has always taken place um, through the lifespan of planet Earth, okay? You've never seen a dinosaur. The only reason why you know anything about a dinosaur is somebody who told you they were smart and has a degree and who's a teacher or professor or somebody in power told you about dinosaurs. Otherwise, you wouldn't know about dinosaurs, where they come from. Why? Because you didn't live in the same time with dinosaurs you have never even seen a dinosaur in person you can go to a dinosaur museum and they can tell you these are the fossils of a dinosaur but they could be fake so you have no idea you can't you have nothing to go on other than what these individuals in power have told you but don't you find it quite interesting that something as massive and huge and giant as dinosaurs went extinct just in the nick of time before um, you know, you could, you, we wouldn't have been able to walk and live amongst dinosaurs. I don't care how much you like dinosaurs. We wouldn't have been able to live amongst them. Okay. Um, so, um, there's always where there is a beginning, there is an end. Okay. This has happened several different times throughout history. Okay. So there are, are several things that's going to take place. There's going to be some very catastrophic ends that happens in this world there are going to be massive amounts of casualties okay there is going to come a point where um <sighs> human beings will be no more there is going to be a purposeful destruction of um human beings okay for a new race to be created that's just a matter of fact whether you like it or not it is going to happen, okay? Um, so everything here that you know of on earth can be destroyed. The land you live on can be destroyed. Homes and businesses and, and, and animals and people can be destroyed, wiped out, okay? Um, majority of it can be done with a, a push of the button. 
You understand what I'm saying? In a complete uh, uh, a nuclear explosion, okay? Um, it can happen in various different ways. You know, a, a huge asteroid hitting planet Earth and killing off millions of people, okay? Which is fast approaching onto Earth even right now. But um, there are some very catastrophic things that are going to take place. Um, and there is going to be a end to the world in which we live in what we believe to be planet earth okay for something new to um begin okay so guys um this concludes your um pop up ransom whatever comes out reading i do hope the information provided has helped you in some way shape form or fashion it is giving you the clarity that you needed um if you enjoyed the video please be so kind to like share and subscribe i would greatly greatly appreciate that um if there is anyone who would like to contact me um, you can do so at tiffanyziegler60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. If you prefer to contact me by phone, um, preferably text, or if you call, leave me a message if I don't answer and I will get back with you at early, my earliest convenience. The number is 501-478-8035, okay? As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, um, take care of your babies. Oh, real quick, guys. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign tip diamond 36 or through PayPal at paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. The information will be in the description box below, guys. Okay? Y'all, watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in because there is wickedness in high places and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you okay you never know when somebody may betray you some keep so keep some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste